Hi, and welcome to Misunderstanding the News, is it? I'm your host, Duck Duck Goose. And now, the news. There have been heavy clashes in between security forces and rebels in Syria's second city of Aleppo. Since it's Syria's second city, I imagine that the clashes got started with, all right, I need a one-word suggestion of something that fits in this room. An American supporter of Al-Qaeda has admitted to using remote-controlled airplanes in a plot to blow up the American capital. Authorities were put onto the plot when they wanted to find out why Joe Biden was yelling about keeping these damn airplanes in the middle of the night. Joe Biden's an old man. A new water source in Namibia at the current rate of use could supply the area with enough water for 400 years. Or one hour with me on a float trip. Am I right, everybody who's ever gone on a float trip with me? Zhang Pyongbong, a 63-year-old, has claimed that her dog has given birth to a cat. This is obviously impossible, because no one could have the name Zhang Pyongbong. Say it now. Zhang Pyongbong. No doubt has given its first performance in over a decade. A response to this performance, everyone my age said, oh, yeah, that's cool. Scientists have created an artificial free-swimming jellyfish out of silicon. Because apparently what the world was needing was more jellyfish. And finally, the poverty rate in the United States has risen to its highest rate since 1965. I think I speak for everyone at Misunderstanding the News when I say... Uh, that was Misunderstanding the News! I was your host, Tuk Tuk Moo. Oh, oh, yeah, moo.